Hey, this episode of Doc's Boost is part two of a series of videos about the journey to a thousand rear wheel horsepower for the Doc's Boost Shelby GT500. Part one talked about everything to make the rotating parts strong enough to go the distance. Part two is all about doing it in style. Is it Doc's Boost? Yeah, it is. And that's where Brad Cordello Customs comes into play. Oh man. That's Thanks. sweet. I like it. Hi, I'm Doc, and you're watching Doc's Boost. And what I do for you here on Doc's Boost is provide the truth about high performance how to maintenance, high performance how to upgrade installs, and how to go out and have endless high performance excitement and fun. Now, Brad's my go to powder coating genius, located just around the block from me here in Phoenix. Well, I just pulled up to Candelo Customs. And Brad's role in this build is to powder coat the valve covers, coil covers, supercharger, and tow hooks. But that's not all. Brad's also doing a titanium ceramic coating on the new Shelby High Performance Long Tube Headers. Brad meticulously color matched the, my Performance Yellow Bear Extreme calipers just before starting in on preparing the valve covers, coil covers, and hooks and headers for coating. If you ever considered powder coating your supercharger, know that there's a little bit of prep involved. Uh, dismantling the supercharger is necessary because the coating process includes dipping the parts in a solution to remove all of the oils and impurities before the power coating process can begin is absolutely critical for the success of powder coating. The cleaning process is way more thorough when the housings are empty. Once the housing components were empty, the supercharger is ready for delivery along with everything else going to Cordello Customs here in Phoenix for coating. I bought a rebuild kit for my supercharger consisting of all of the bearing seals, oil, and any other components that support the rotating mass of the supercharger. So when I get it back and put it back together, it'll be as fresh as it can possibly be. Following the progress was amazing, but what was even more amazing was pickup day. Checking out the parts on the day they were done was really amazing and really exciting. Stuffing a thousand horsepower under the hood is one thing, but making it look like a thousand horsepower while it's standing still is magic. Cordello custom magic, to be specific. The wow factor will blow your mind upon opening the hood to see the Performance Yellow Supercharger sitting on top of that beast of a 5.4 liter power plant as if it were a crown to signify its royalty. In addition to that, having the Performance Yellow valve covers and the carbon fiber like coil covers hiding the growl of those competition cams from view is definitely magic. Now you won't see much of the ceramic coated long tubes but they'll be hard at work taming the beast's heat under the hood without discoloring the pipes. That's just awesome. The physical excitement of loading finished valve covers, coil covers, tow hooks, and supercharger and headers into the back of the SUV was a close second to having explosive sex. That stuff's gonna look great. I'm telling you, what a great job. I'm so excited about it. Unloading the parts and laying them out on the table at home was playtime for me. Uh, look at some of these pics and enjoy the view. Imagine, if you will, this awesome supercharger screaming its lungs out as it pulls away from the pack or winding down the runway at no fly zone event in Gila Bend. I can hardly wait for that next Omega Sports event come this fall here in Arizona. As a matter of fact, this video right there <laughs> It was handpicked for you, and it's all about me running down the runway at Gila Bend Airport during an Omega Sports timed half a mile event here in Arizona. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a moment right there in that video, that no-fly zone video that's just a click away.